Hi, my name is Ian Winters, and we're here at my studio, the Milk Bar, that I share with choreographer Mary Armentrout uh, in Richmond. And we're talking about 20 by 20, uh, or possibly might also get called Masked slash Unmasked, a new series uh, of portraits of the new masked world. Teachers, grocery store, frontline workers, performers, artists, uh, the, the huge medical care, healthcare workers, you know, the huge number of us that, that really are work in person. Um, and seeing what portraits look like um, when you can't see someone's face. And that's getting coupled with a series of Zoom interviews with the same people to see this other side of life that is sort of the new professional life where you are unmasked and if you're in a sort of office or professional class job, everything's on video. The portrait is a, is, is a form that's been used for thousands of years as this is, this is how I am presenting to the world. And you know, in a sense it's partly the artist, but in a, like, at least half of the portrait, even though there's not a tradition of crediting people always, is the person whose portrait it is. So I'm, I'm curious about that tension between those two things also. There's also this long history, you know, from the very beginnings of photography of it being this, this you know, accessible means for uh, defining an identity as a family and as an individual. I'm hoping to come up with a series of 40 portraits by the end of the year that'll be coupled of in-person portrait that's masked in a very formal black and white, very, very traditional uh, formal portrait coupled with a uh, a Zoom portrait that's of someone at home on Zoom, um, the same person that'll basically be the, the orientation to the shoot. I've been thinking largely in either book or kind of traditional gallery installation and kind of thinking of them framed as diptychs. So, you know, formal portraits and similarly cropped Zoom portrait it feels like there's a new divide that's a similar kind of class class and race divide that we've, you know, working that's hugely present at the moment. But that it's it's a somewhat different category. It's do you work in person or do you work on Zoom? Everyone that I've talked to and everyone that I've photographed so far, their the eyes are so much more important and and also all the little crow's feet and these little the little tell of like is is this a frowning eyebrow or is this a quizzical eyebrow the solid color mask there's the disposable mask from the convenience store there's the surgical mask um there's the mask that has the neat little logo here that's imprinted by your company there really is something deeply interesting about how do you construct your identity and presence when you can't see your face or when much of your face is obscured. There's also this intense moment of focus on AI tools and facial recognition and there's something deeply entertaining about suddenly it's mandatory worldwide to wear something intended to defeat facial recognition. Um, which is kind of great. And it's like, okay, well, here's this tool that is truly a tool intended at control and repression, and suddenly now it's mandatory to be defeating it. What other things from art history does that pull in? You know, is it... Because more traditionally, masking would be actually a in political terms or in portraiture, you know, it would be in battle scenes or uh, guerrilla warfare or something from revolutionary fighters and things like that. And, you know, here's people that 
they are not that yet in terms of just pure iconography there there is a little bit of that you know you, you think about all all of the pictures for you know 150 years of various various revolutionary movements and everyone has a mask on to hide your identity and now we're wearing masks to show your identity which is there's an interesting tension there you have to be making something and you know it's how do we how do we find something that's makeable that's that's of the moment and is responding to where we are and is also responding to where i mean i'm experiencing that same i'm in the just like six other billion people like we're all in this moment and how do we you know how does how can you make sense of things with artwork i mean i feel like that's that's one of those like thing that we've all been doing as artists for thousands of years is how do you how do you make come to some understanding of of it all really